New here at 9, two suspects now in custody in this weekend's deadly shooting at a suburban ATM. The victim, a young mother raising two children on her own. And WGN's Dana Rebic just talked with the woman's family. She is live in Worth tonight with more. Dana? And they are obviously devastated after this happened on Saturday afternoon. They tell us that she had simply pulled up to this ATM to withdraw some cash when this vehicle pulled up beside her and she was shot in the chest during this attempted robbery. She's a beautiful soul. They were her everything. She and she would give them anything that she could. Single mother of two, Johnny Angel Klein had just gotten off work Saturday afternoon before 3 p.m. at the Dunkin Donuts in Worth with her son, who had just gotten his work permit. She dropped him off and she went straight to the bank. Um, at that time, we know that someone pulled up next to her. Obviously, it was an attempt to get her money and um, she was shot. The victim's sister says it happened at the Chase Bank ATM in the 6800 block of West 111th Street. Klein tried to drive across the street to another bank where someone saw she was in distress and called 911. The 32 year old victim was dead once police arrived. They're murderers and they need to be put to justice and I just I can't believe the yeah, the tra tragedy, the devastation that they have put in uh, my family's life. Worth police say on Sunday, two suspects from Harvey were taken into custody. Offenders accused of taking the life of a young mom who was also a caregiver to her own mother. She's sick. She went through cancer. Um, yeah. She takes care of her went and her through. two kids. She does everything she can and, and now their main support is gone. Investigators say that the two suspects in custody are linked to several other recent armed robberies in the Chicago area and northwest Indiana. Also that they did recover multiple firearms during this investigation, one of which they believed was used in this murder. Live in Worth, Dana Rebic, WGN News.